The A40 Albatross, once regarded as the largest in its category anywhere in the world, will again be built according to a decision by the Russian Ministry of Defense. The publication, Izvestia, which cites anonymous sources from the Russian defense sector and the aviation industry, reports that the aircraft will be modernized as part of the project's revitalization. It is intended that the A-40 will serve dual roles as an anti-submarine aircraft and a search and rescue aircraft. In its military format, the Albatross can transport up to 6.5 tons of various types of armament. This can comprise three Orlan torpedoes, four Korshan torpedoes, four Yastreb anti-submarine missiles, six Oro torpedoes, or six Yastreb anti-submarine missiles. If the situation calls for it, the A-40 can perform the duties of a torpedo bomber or a missile carrier. Additionally, it can be used for placing depth charges, acoustic buoys, and even sea mines. The Taganrog Beriev Aviation Scientific Technical Complex developed the A-40 between the late 1980s and the early 1990s. It was initially designated as the BE-42. The aircraft project was terminated in 1993 because the Russian Ministry of Defense did not have sufficient financing or interest in the endeavor. The aircraft's basic configuration boasted impressive characteristics for a jet amphibious aircraft. The Albatross had a crew of four to eight persons, and its dimensions were 45.7 by 42.5 by 11.07 meters, with a wing area of 200 square meters. Maximum takeoff weight was 90 tons, with 10 tons of payload. The A-40's takeoff thrust was provided by a pair of RD-60K turbojet engines, while a pair of D-30TK PV engines provided its flight thrust. In surface mode, the aircraft could withstand surges up to 2.2 meters in height. 13 kilometers was the utmost flight altitude. The flight range was approximately 5,000 kilometers, and the maximum loiter duration was 12 hours. At altitude, the A-40's crews and top velocities are 720 and 800 kilometers per hour, respectively. The seaplane's hull consisted of three major sections. The forward hermetic section had cockpits and workstations for six crew members, including the pilots and operators. Due to the long duration of the flight, this section included a toilet, a wardrobe, and a rest area for the personnel. In the non-airtight portion of the hull were technical compartments containing mission systems and onboard equipment, as well as a cargo compartment containing deployable ordnance, radio hydroacoustic buoys, anti-submarine torpedoes, depth charges, mines, and missiles, and, if necessary, aviation rescue containers. According to Izvestia, the A-40 amphibious aircraft project's coordination phase is underway. The military is simultaneously developing the tactical and technical requirements for modernized amphibious aircraft. If all coordination phases are successful, the Russian Ministry of Defense will acquire three new A-40 aircraft. As part of the revived project, the A-40 is anticipated to receive updated onboard equipment and submarine detection systems. Other project details are currently not specified. In the past, the Russian Ministry of Defense tried to bring the project back to life. In 2008, the military wanted to relaunch the construction of the Albatross as a universal transport, search and rescue, and anti-submarine aircraft. In 2012, 
the military announced that the A-40 project would no longer be continued. In 2016, it was intended for all B-12 anti-submarine aircraft to be replaced with A-40 amphibious aircraft by 2020. The Chinese AG-600, which has been in development since the early 2010s, has the title of the world's largest amphibious aircraft. Test flights with this aircraft are now being carried out. The Chinese amphibious aircraft has dimensions of 37 meters in length and 38.8 meters across the span of its wings. The maximum takeoff weight is known to be 53.5 tons. The amphibious aircraft has a maximum speed of 570 km per hour and flies up to 5,000 km in a single flight. It can carry up to 50 passengers. At the end of July 2019, Admiral Valentin Selivanov, chief of the general staff of the Russian Navy, announced that the anti-submarine amphibious aircraft B-12 had begun modernization. Some aircraft have already been outfitted with newly installed onboard radio electronic equipment, hydroacoustic systems, magnetic anomaly detectors, and weapons as part of the ongoing work. This work is currently in progress. The B-12 aircraft in the Russian Naval Aviation Fleet have the longest service history. The B-12 is 30.1 meters long and has a wingspan of 30.2 meters. The plane's top speed is 550 kilometers per hour and it can travel about 1,000 kilometers. The total weight of the anti-submarine armaments that Cheka, Seagull, can carry is 1.5 tons. Until 1973, 143 B-12s were produced. The Russian Navy's aviation fleet currently consists of only 9 B-12 planes.